Hi, I'm Andre and I'm a black nerd and oh my God, a talking Pikachu. Okay, it's official. The drugs from college have finally kicked in. I didn't even take drugs in college, but I'm pretty sure I was near at least someone's secondhand smoke at one point, so it finally kicked in. What the heck was that? <laughs> Subscribe, please. So Ryan Reynolds, who now I guess releases his own trailers, released the trailer for Detective Pikachu on Twitter. And at first glance, I'm gonna be honest with you, I was freaked out. It's a live action world with these Pokemon. And we've seen commercials with live action people with Pokemon, but they usually are like the animated looking like the video game Pokemon. But this one, they're all 3D'd and textured and furs and all that kind of stuff. And I'm just like, whoa, it took me a minute. I was like, this is this is too early for this. It freaked me out, it did. I, I, I was like, what is this? So then I just calmed down, I watched it again, and I was like, okay, now I kind of see what's going on here, and I kind of dig it. I've always been a fan of mixing humans with not human characters like in The Muppet Show or Who Framed Roger Rabbit or Space Jam. So seeing this world of humans and Pokemon living together, walking beside each other, you're getting to see all the different Pokies out there. I saw a Charizard, I saw a Psyduck, I saw a Jiggly. The gang's all here. That's the Smith who's playing the main guy in this movie. He just got off of the park with all the dinosaurs attacking him in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, one of the best movies of 2018, don't at me, I don't care what you say. And now he gotta walk around with Pokemon, including a talking detective Pikachu, voiced by Ryan Reynolds, which that is like, oh my gosh. Cause they show that he's the only one, Justin Smith's character is the only one that can hear Ryan Reynolds' voice coming out of Pikachu. Everyone else hears Pika Pika. It's still interesting to hear Ryan Reynolds as the voice of Pikachu because for the last couple years, we've just been thinking about his voice as Deadpool for so often. I'm gonna have a conspiracy theory. I'm gonna make one of those like conspiracy theory videos that you see circulating around. I'm gonna say that part in Deadpool 2 where he has a little clamp on his neck, so that means if he dies, he dies. I'm gonna say that when he got killed and died at that part, he was reincarnated into Detective Pikachu for this movie and then at the end of this movie is when Cable went back in time and did everything over again so he wouldn't have to die this time. The Pokemon definitely took a little bit of me getting used to, but once I kind of saw how they were doing the designs, I was liking it. I love Jigglypuff just kind of hanging out. You really have to do a scene where Jigglypuff is a singer in a nightclub and then is just singing, Jigglypuff, and you pan out to like the club or the audience like everyone's asleep and then Jigglypuff gets mad and draws things on their faces. See, I know some Pokey stuff. You think I don't know? I watched the anime. Some of the designs of the Pokies are creepy though. That Mr. Mime, I can't, I can't roll with that. That was a little bit too much. That face is not working with me, okay? That one point when he like looks all mean mug, I'm like, uh-uh, that's a nightmare fuel. You should not be in Detective Pikachu, Mr. Mime. You should be in Five Nights at Freddy's. Mimes are already scary enough as they are. I don't need a scarier one like Mr. Mime. I'm sorry, are we allowed to make fun of mimes in 2018? But the best part of this Detective Pikachu trailer is they play the song Happy Together, which is the song that they played in the original Super Smash Brothers commercial, which is funny because just last night, they released a Super Smash Brothers commercial with no music, and now everyone, including myself, twitter.com slash black nerd, have been putting background music on the Smash Brothers commercial. Here's what I think went down. I think that Sakurai was all like, you know what we should do with the Smash Brothers Ultimate commercial? We should put the Happy Together song underneath it to be a nod, a homage to the original Smash Brothers commercial. And then somebody ran into the office and said, uh, Mr. Sakurai, I'm sorry, but we just found out that the Pikachu, Detective Pikachu trailer is using the Happy Together song in their trailer, and it's coming out right after your commercial. And he's like, what? I never get any sleep. And then they're like, what do you want to do, Sakurai? Sakurai was just like, screw it. Just don't put a theme song behind it at all. Just let the people do it. Put, put, the, put the thing out with sound effects and no music, and let the people handle it. I did all this work. Let them do some work for a change. <laughs> Sakurai is going on vacation. You will never go on vacation. As long as you have to make DLC for Smash Brothers and people keep begging for Waluigi and Gino and Banjo-Kazooie or Goku, but that's okay. I'm cool with you because you know what? Piranha Plant Main for life. What you got about it? So yeah, man, I'm actually kind of stoked for this movie. I want to see it. It looks so weird and interesting and different and yet also familiar because we know of the Pokemon franchise that somehow it just weirdly makes me go, I really need to see all of this. And who knows, it could end up being adorable or cute or funny. I just have to see how this actually pans out. Now, I'm gonna be real. I don't know all of the Pokes, what, how many are there now? Like 925,600 Pokemon. I don't know all of their names. So I say the movie should probably come with a free Pokedex. Like if you buy a ticket, you should get a Pokedex. And then when you don't know it, 
which Pokemon's on screen, you put a little earbud in and play and it goes, that is a ditto. It can change itself into any other Pokemon. Ah, see, I know what a ditto is. Did I say that right? Did I do that right? Did I do that right? But yeah, man, I'm, <laughs> I don't know, man. This trailer for me went from what? To what? To yeah, we doing this? Big bang! Could this be it, y'all? Could this be the video game movie to do it? We've been waiting for a successful one. Rampage, <laughs> Rampage <laughs> was pretty close. This looks cool. I want to see it, but man, you know, it's always tough for those video game movies. But I feel like that what they're trying to do with this one is they're really trying to get into that detective story and, of course, have some Pokemon for. Hey, you remember that character? You know that character? So if that's what it ends up being, just a fun, comedic, family-friendly detective story that just happens to be set in the world of Pokemon, so you get your Pokemon references, but it's all about the story, this could work. It could work. People who don't even know what a Pokemon is may still want to see this, or may have to take their kids to see it and be like, oh, this is cute, because I know that voice, that's Deadpool. It could work. Maybe this is the PG-13 Deadpool that we're supposed to have. This is a rant. I'm gonna call this a rant. I'm sorry. I was trying to do like a trailer reaction review, but I just talked for a long time about random nonsense. This is a rant. Ah! Black Air Rants! In, re in <laughs> retrospect! What'd you think about the Detective Pikachu trailer? Did you like it or did it the Pikamons? The Pikamons? <laughs> The Pikamons, did the Pikamons freak you out? Thank you for watching me talk about Pokemon. There might be another Pokemon video coming up in the future, but let's go to that subscribe button so that you can see when that comes out. Thank you for watching. I love you like a play cousin. I'm Audi 5000, Piranha Plant Chomp, yomp.